out in the yards today we're switching out the empty frames with foundation frames now it's supposed to be 10 degrees today 60 click winds so we can't really plan much else to do today so we're making good use of time i suppose and fixing up a problem that occurred earlier so basically what the issue was is we're making up our split boxes here we put four frames empty two honey and then foundation on the outside just for a place for the bees to drop a bunch of energy before we can get to them for the split just our foundation we didn't have the actual foundation for the frames because it's stuck in port in Vancouver so we had to move ahead get these boxes out to provide more space we needed to drop um, the, the empty frames in just to provide kind of like a place taker to keep these frames together just to make everything easier and now we're finally following through with uh, the plastic so we're just switching it out blah 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 but not a moment too soon my little girls can you pull these two frames out gently they've already decided to start drawing out the frames no that one's not or maybe they're not yet they're just thinking about they're it they're hanging on it though yeah, when they're hanging on it like that, they're thinking, yep, we're going to build wax. So that's that's not a, like I'm not complaining. That's not a bad thing. That's a good thing because it means these boxes are full of bees and they're ambitious. They've they're... filled the slot with... So they're starting. But I don't want them to build comb yet. I want them to wait until we get the plastic sheet in there just to keep everything all nice and organized. So then we don't have to tear down comb and waste all their energy. Look at the bees. Out of curiosity, could you pull a center frame just to see um, if there's any eggs up top? I bet you she's up top. long have these been on? Probably four days, five days? Uh, about. They're nicely organized. And <laughs> Can't see. Holy shit, there's young larvae in there. So she's moved up almost instantly by the looks of it. Look at this. They have syrup in there. They're nicely organizing that nest. They, this is, yeah, there's no eggs on here. This is all mature Nets. larvae. Yeah. How many day old larvae would that be, do you think? Uh, two to three days from hatch. One, two, three from hatch, yeah. Yeah, I think you're right. So if we put this box on four days ago, and that means she moved up instantly into that box. That's a really good sign. That means... Well, it's more than four days ago, though. Is it more than four days? Yeah. Well, it takes three days for an egg to hatch. Oh, yeah, so that doesn't add up at all. Yeah. I'll have to check back in my blog to see when we hit this yard. <laughs> because that's, that's four days, and then three days, that's seven days. That's a week. Indeed. So that puts... Yeah, that puts a timeline where she moved up almost instantly. This bottom box full of bees, put the top box on and it just kind of unfolded into the top, made it their home. It's exactly what we want to do. Eggs in that one? Holy shit. <laughs> Those are for sure three to four day. Yep. Nothing holding them back, Patty. Being devoured. That's good. Is there any uh, pollen stores up top? Uh, just starting. A little bit. Just a smattering, eh? Nectar. Oh, that's not nectar, that'll be syrup. Yeah. Money in the bank. Alright, at any rate, so we've started switching out 
my little make work project. What are you supposed to do? Take it as it comes. This is yard number one, 28, no, 29 more yards to go. Don't do it, don't do it. Is there any eggs in that? Not yet. In the nick of time, I think. Back to the yard that we're feeding that, uh, what do you call that stuff? Back in that yard that we're feeding the hive live to. Bees seem to be on the pails, that's a good sign. So it hasn't put them off the syrup, so that's a good thing. Just, we are switching out those empty foundation frames. I wonder if this syrup has built some comb. I guess we'll find out right smartly here. Let's see if we built comb out of that syrup. Do it, don't do it. Can you pull that frame out to see what we got? Making a mess. Just starting to, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, time to get the girls more organized than that. Looks like this is priority for the day and eggs. tomorrow. There's eggs in there? Yeah. Well, she's pretty ambitious. Drone comb. They're looking for the boys. Sure got busy. Look at that queen, holy. Wow, she's long, eh? Mm-hmm. She looks like she's wearing a May skirt. Not on that frame, my dear. Look at all the drone comb. Thinking about boys. Well, you know what I said. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. <laughs> That's all drone comb. Yep. She's probably on there. Look at the eggs. Holy smokes, it didn't take them long to do that. The other ones are all right, just the one. Well, they had a tiny bit on this end. They had a tiny piece, but... The colony is booming. I don't see her. A good frame for the melter. See through this. I'll say eggs in there. Yep, it's, it's all the way down to here. These are the merger splits. We have the big one on the bottom, and then the smaller nuke we put on top. Newspaper and excluder. We're just coming through, checking back, and providing more space. Not providing more space, but filling in the space with frames. Like they stretch that down. Yeah. Oh, there she is. There she is there. So she had just a small little nest and we put her on top, gave her a little bit of a boost, and now she is exerting her full potential. Neat little trick. <laughs> 